studying how our heart rate responds to different situations is important to understand. And for the team here at University College London, they're hoping it will save lives. So when people are admitted to an intensive care unit, often it's because their organs are failing. This could be their heart or their lungs or their liver or their kidneys. This is a huge problem for patients and can make them very unwell. One of the issues with this is they suffer from a lack of oxygen. So they have a lack of oxygen in their blood and then they have a lack of oxygen in the organs in their body. To find new ways to help these patients, Dan and his team need to learn more about how the body responds to low oxygen. One way to do this is to head to the mountains. If you go up a mountain to high altitude, there's less oxygen in the air that you breathe there. So this mimics the situation in intensive care where there's a low amount of oxygen in the blood of the patients that we're treating. So we've done a number of expeditions, going to different mountains, studying volunteers from the public. We do all sorts of tests on them, some complicated, some less complicated. But one of the tests that we do every single day to assess how people are adapting to the low level of oxygen in the air is that we have a step on the floor uh, and we get them to step on and off of that step for a couple of minutes, monitoring them very closely whilst they're doing that. And we use a, a device like this, we measure their heart rate, we measure the amount of oxygen in their blood, and we get their partner to count how fast they're breathing. Another test we can do is to look very closely at the blood vessels under your tongue. We have a small camera, and we place the camera under your tongue, and we look at the speed of the blood and how many blood vessels, and we work it all out on a computer, and we store that information away. And then as people are getting higher and higher on the mountain, we make another video and another video and another video. What we found was that the blood starts slowing down when you go higher and higher to altitude. We thought perhaps the blood would go faster. We see uh, very similar patterns of change in the intensive care patients that we're looking after. We frequently see this slow blood flow. And we've started looking at a number of treatments that we can perhaps use, and we've been testing these at altitude and in our laboratory to perhaps speed the blood flow back up again. And hopefully what that would mean is they get more oxygen to their organs, their organs get better quickly, uh, and more people will survive intensive care and leave the hospital.